What's up y'all, welcome back to the channel. It's Sage, your host, and I'm back today with a new video on some reactions I will be doing. First up, we got Baddies West Reunion. The full trailer has come out as of last night. And then we also have a show on BET called College Hill. If you don't know, it's the same show from back in the day, the regular College Hill reality show, but they're now doing celebrity editions. And we got Jocelyn Hernandez in New York on there, so you know I'm probably going to be reviewing it because I will be watching it, so I'll be reacting to that. And also, Zeus has a lineup for this summer that they put out, so we're going to be talking about that and get into some things. So I'm excited to be here on this video with y'all today. Let's get into it. You know what you did. Even if you did forget the world, remind you. you touch me, I'm going to touch you. Every I think them having Sonagra at the very beginning of the little talking part saying, you know what you did, and even if you forget, the world reminds you, that is so ironic given, you know, some of the things that she has been connected to, whether or not she had any direct physical involvement or what her actual involvement was with, you know, like the cave situation and other things. It's just very fitting. Don't make me turn the fuck up on you, I swear to God. Okay, so I think Scotty's whole look for the reunion is just blue on blue on blue, and I think she looks good. I think that this jumpsuit is a little ill-fitting tad bit, but other than that, like I think Scotty looks good. I'm glad that she did something different with the hair, and yeah. Okay, Biggie's wig looks good. Hold on, let's see. Dang. Okay, yeah, Biggie's wig looks good. Um, good color choice. Not the Mario boots, though. Not the Mario boots, Biggie. I've been on the internet going nonstop. I'm up for a hell of a night. I feel it. That's not on me. Okay, so we got Stevie J hosting the reunion. And I don't think this was a good choice at all. What business does Stevie J have hosting a reunion about a bunch of women? I mean, maybe it is kind of fitting for him. But in all reality, we really need, we really need somebody. I don't know. I can't think of anyone off the top of my head. But we need, like, somebody that's going to really like host the reunion because these last few hosts it's like they can't handle the cast they can't handle the girls on here they can't they can't really like host <laughs> they're not really doing what they're supposed to do like trina she was cool and everything but i mean it really wasn't given like oh i'm gonna host the baddies it was more so like i'm gonna host the baddest bitches of miami or something like that because that's a different vibe you know what i'm saying if y'all didn't know, they were supposed to actually have Carisha, your Miami, host a reunion of Jocelyn's Cabaret. I think it was Jocelyn's Cabaret or it was Baddie South. Either or, she was supposed to host one of these reunions, but her schedule had some, some type of conflict. So I think that Carisha would be, Carisha and JT, the city girls, have the city girls do Baddie's East reunion. That would be epic. I feel it. That's not on me. That's what the fuck is the problem? Okay, Lauren looks good. Lauren looks really good. Let's go back to Lauren. That's a Lauren looks good. What the fuck is the problem? That's good. That looks good. Cannot anymore disrespect each other. If you want to fight, it's whatever. We can fight every day. Like, Leave the fuck alone. Get your lick back. Wherever she go, just know this is where I was Don't coming from. Don't get this ass with the house. Oh. Hey, y'all. Okay, so that was pretty much the Baddies West reunion teaser. So, so last week while all the so last week while all the reunion shenanigans was going on behind the scenes, Zeus actually uploaded a teaser of Stunner Girl versus Biggie. And I am going to play it here on my YouTube and I'm going to hope that YouTube doesn't um, demonetize the video because I don't think that it was much really shown. So we're going to get into that real quick. Uh, 
Okay, so that's pretty much all that was shown. I'm gonna play it one more time. Oh, ladies, hey, 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 All right, so there we have it. Son of Girl versus Biggie oh, is definitely happening. And in the background, if you guys can see, um, and you saw some on the new trailer they just put out, that we have Sky running up as Thunder goes to run up. Sky's going to run up on Roly. So, yeah, you can't really see it right there. But Sky does run up on Roly because Roly and Sky have beef and i am going to be doing a whole compilation video on everything that's been going on so that when the reunion does air y'all will be fully in the mix and you can know what's going on and why the girls are fighting so after i recorded my reaction video that i just showed y'all i went on tiktok and one of the first videos that popped up was a slow-mo of the trailer and lo and behold cat and tommy go at it during the reunion now if you guys did not know cat and tommy have some differences they did a little back and forth through instagram live and stuff like that and as i said i will be updating y'all on all the outside beef that leads up to the reunion but yes tommy then threw hands at cat so it looks like we will be getting the old bgc5 cat at this reunion because it went up all right, y'all, so another show I'm thinking of reviewing here on the channel is College Hill Celebrity Edition Season 2. So if you guys are too young to know, back in the day, BET used to have a reality show called College Hill. The one that I remember the most is Virgin Islands. We had Crystal versus uh, that one girl, and she beat her with the shoe. But that was all the way back in the day when I was like in middle school. So BET has brought back the reality show, but it's a celebrity edition. So they did season one last year, I think. And they had, I believe, Dream Doll and India Love on there. So this season, they have a few new people on here. And from what I have seen, it might be worth reviewing because we have Jocelyn Hernandez and we have New York. And I don't think we've had them two on a show together, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm excited for this, and I think that this is kind of something new because this is not Zeus Network. So I'll have something else that I can watch and, you know, you guys can watch with me and we can review and talk about together. That's not a Zeus Network show because no shade to Zeus, but their shows just kind of go a certain kind of way. And when it comes to BET, they seem to know how to keep stuff moving a little faster, okay? So for this review, I'm going to add my face at the bottom or I'm going to add my face on the side. Let me see how I want to do this because I am really not sure how BET does with the reaction. So I'm trying to keep the video up because there's no purpose of me doing these videos if I can't keep it up or have it monetized. So let's get it popping. So first we have Amber Rose. Let's go through who we got here. Amber Rose, um, I know most of y'all know who Amber Rose is, but in case you do not know, she used to date Kanye West back in the day before he got with Kim. Um, you know, it was Amber Rose and Black China. They hit the scene together. They were both dancers, if I'm not mistaken. She has her slut walk. Um, and she also dated with Khalifa, and she has a baby by him. So then we have Orion, which... Of course, you can tell this is Omarion's brother, but if y'all didn't know, this is Janae Aiko or Janae Aiko. This is her baby daddy, her first one, okay? Tiffany New York Pollard. Of course, we all know who Tiffany is, New York queen of reality TV. I do have a video on her, but I'm probably going to make it private because I'm going to repurpose the video redo it and you know i have a whole like how she got into reality tv and all that kind of stuff so be on the lookout for that um okay wow they went through him really quick we have iman and this is tiana taylor's husband and i'll be honest with y'all i don't really know too much about him i could look up you know but this is a reaction so let me know isn't he wasn't he a, a basketball player I might be tripping. I might be tripping. So then we have Parker McKenna. And a lot of us know her from My Wife and Kids when she was a little girl. But then as she grew up, she was like a popular Tumblr girl. And then she dated, I think, Chris Sales, which is, 
you know, Chris and Queen from YouTube, that Chris. And I also think that she is a model. We also have Quay, which if I'm not mistaken, this is the comedian. You know, he does TT with the green hair. And of course we have Jocelyn Hernandez. No need to explain who this is. And Ray J. I didn't know Ray J was on here. All right, so let me redo that so we can listen to um, what the trailer is saying. College Hill Celebrity Edition is back, and this time it's bigger and better. I'm ready. You ready? Welcome to the Alabama State. Alabama, child. I thought it was not up here in Alabama. See, this is why I need to keep my ear to the streets, as Jocelyn be saying, because, baby, I could have went up here and... Uh, <laughs> Got the tea for y'all. <laughs> University. Eight celebrities will take on the challenge of college. It's important you know the foundation, the hollow grounds that you walk on. I didn't know the history, but ASU was so rich. Welcome to Africa. All right, I'm just going to pause it just in case because I don't want BET to get me. But um, yeah, I could have went up there and, and, you know, I know a couple people at ASU. If you guys don't know, I do live in Alabama. I am from grew up in Alabama from California, grew up in Alabama. So, you know, I, I need to start getting out into the world so I can get y'all some tea. <laughs> so I can get y'all the inside scoop. <laughs> anyway. African-American literature. This is um civil rights course. And this is fundamentals of acting. Crime scene investigation. Going to an HBCU, I'm going to be able to learn things that I've never learned before that I've never heard about, but like to- That's, oh, the honey buns the honey buns in the bed in the bed the honey bun they i'm just tired i need the rest i feel like i have like an obligation so jocelyn and tiffany they both look really good to take this shit seriously. So me, Parker, and Tiff, we all signed up for the Spirit Squad at ASU. I've been practicing my flagging, but I still have a lot of work to do. <laughs> I'm just, I'm not. New York looks really good. She looks really cute. Where's she at? Let's go back. She looks so cute. A lot of work to do. <laughs> I'm just, I'm not a dancer. Ah! Do one more, one more. I don't got it. <laughs> This house is a madhouse. I want to fight the f out of Ray J. I want to. Oh, Lord, Jocelyn. Of course, Jocelyn going to fight somebody. Grab your ass. No. 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 Oh, Lord. No. Was that Jocelyn versus Quay? Is that Quay? Oh, my God. No. Jocelyn, she running this shit like it's some kind of penitentiary. If they keep on pushing me, they going to find what they not looking for. I don't know any other people that are like me, to be honest. Yeah. Have... Oh, oh, God. I like my black mom, and like I went to an all black school. Oh, and so, was your like... mom, so your mom is black? Yeah. And, you're, and your dad is white? Yeah. My nickname my whole life was White Girl. Wow. You know, when Amber got that tattoo on her forehead, I thought that was just like, you know how people be doing stuff for the internet? They just be doing stuff for the clicks to views, the to be the talk of the town. You know what I'm saying? Girl, they look a mess. I am who I am, and nobody can change that, and I'm happy with who I am. This season, All the right. stakes are higher. Ray J, this is your last chance. Will these celebrities make the grade? I know we're in college, but damn, this is like a <laughs> They really got them in college. <laughs> a lot. It takes time. I think pressure is getting to us all. Your problem is that you really don't even want to be black. Just no, 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 no. no. No, you want to go there? So this is the the clip that's going viral on social media right now. So let me replay that. Oh. It's getting to us all. Your problem is that you really don't even want to be black. Jocelyn. No, 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 no. no. You want to go there? No. Oh my God. College Hill. <laughs> New York is so dramatic. All that crying and not one tear. So that was the trailer for. College Hill Celebrity Edition Season 2. And I think that this will be worth me reviewing because it's not your typical put a bunch of people in a house for them to fight type of thing. And if I can find more shows like this, if I can, if I can find more shows like this, 
to review that has enough action, enough drama that's worth, you know, the entertainment portion of it, but also has some type of substance so that I'm just not watching a bunch of people fighting, then I can continue to do the reviews. But <sighs> lately, y'all, I've been irritated with, you know, just the reality TV thing. And I'm going to make a video on that, like a podcast type of video, so you guys can know what's going on with the channel and why I said it's the end of the Golden Baby era. I'm going to explain all that very soon. But the last thing I want to talk about is Zeus has put out their new lineup for the next few shows that are going to be coming up. And that's cool and everything, but this is my thing with Zeus. It's like you have one show that comes out, then another show that comes out, then show A comes out with season two, and then show B comes out with season two, and then you throw in another show for season one, and then show A comes out with season three, and then show B comes out with season two, whatever season. And it's just kind of like, I feel as though some of these shows can run at the same time because you have these people paying $5.99 per month, which is pretty low. But at the same time, you know, you have Zeus Network, you have BET Plus, you have Paramount, you have Peacock, you have Netflix, you have Hulu, you have whatever else there is out there, HBO Max. And everybody kind of has their own things that are only on um, the, the streaming software right like some people can have uh multiple things or the same things but for the most part like everybody has their own thing then not only that with the, the bigger networks then you also have like smaller networks who are coming about like now that's tv then you have um for us by us which i think is now free then you have these other startup networks with these reality shows like i think there's a trend tv network and then there's this one and that one and that one so it's like i feel like Zeus is the only one who's only giving us one thing at a time. And right now, while we have bad boys, why are we not also having Blueface and Krishan Crazy in Love season two? Like, I feel like that should be running at the same time because you have two different types of shows. But I feel like they do that because they know that certain clips from certain shows are going to go viral, which is going to make people come on to Zeus to watch that specific show. And when you have something like Zeus Network, which it's no longer like a startup, it's definitely here. Like people know Zeus Network, the name, but it's not as big as like a Netflix or something like that. You have less people who are willing to just keep their subscription going month by month by month. As soon as the show that they are interested in ends, they'll pause that subscription. They'll cancel it until the next show that they want to see comes up. So I think that maybe by doing show by show by show, it keeps people's interest in keeping a subscription going. So instead of doing Baddies East and Jocelyn's Cabaret together, we're going to do them separate because people who watch Baddies are probably also the same people who watch Jocelyn's Cabaret. And the people who are interested in Baddies probably also like Krishan. So they're also going to want to watch Krishan and Blueface and all that. It's understandable, but I feel like right now you have bad boys, which is a little bit different. And yeah, it's different because it's it's men. So this one is more so for the gays, you know, like even though you have some straight men on here, even though there's a lot of women watching it too, I'm watching it, but your core audience is the gays. Whereas for baddies, you have a lot of gays, you know, watching it. But your core audience is probably young women. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like as long as the core audience is different, you guys can run these shows at the same time. So there should be no reason why Bad Boys Houston and Krishan and Blueface Crazy in Love Season 2 are not running at the same time. You know what I'm saying? And I also feel like there should be another show thrown in that doesn't have anything to do with the same type of people. Like, of course, Baddies and Jocelyn's Cabaret are two different types of shows because it's two different formats, but Baddies and Bad Boys is the same format. And then Crazy in Love with Krishan and Blueface, you have someone from Baddies on that show, and that's who is censored around. You know what I'm saying? So it's like everything is kind of within itself. You don't really have anything new and fresh. So also, if you add something new and fresh, you can put that new and fresh show with um, a Jocelyn's Cabaret and have that run at the same time. But I don't know. I mean, I'm I'm not in the business of reality TV. You know, I'm not behind the scenes, so I don't know how it works. It could also be, you know, budgeting and stuff like that. But with when it comes to Zeus, it's just like, why is there one show at a time? Like, 
But anyway, so they released their lineup, I guess, for this summer. So we have Baddies East, and we already knew that was coming about because they had Baddies South, they had Baddies West, now they have Baddies East, and after this, it's probably going to be Baddies North. And I would assume after that, they're probably going to have Baddies out in Cabo or something the same way that Bad Girls Club did it. So I think Baddies is here to stay. It's going to go on for season after season after season. They will also be having Baddies East auditions on May 12th. But as of right now, it looks like they... Oh, okay, here we go. This is the post. Let's play it. We come into the East. All right, here we go. Zeus auditions to become an official paid cast member on Baddies East live, edi live auditions in Washington, D.C., May 12th. Casting will be filmed and aired on Zeus, hosted by Natalie Nunn and celebrity guest judges. Side, baby. East Coast, what's up? If y'all ready to turn up May 12th and show me what you got, it's going down in Chocolate City, D.C. The link is in my bio. Click right here. It's up, baby. Let's go. Batty, batty, shot o'clock. Batty, batty, shot o'clock. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Well, anyways, they will be hosting the auditions for May 12th. We already know they're only going to pick like two or three people if they do pick that many to begin with. I had already decided that I was going to go to the next auditions, not to audition for the show because there's no way in hell I'm going to be able to be on a show like this, but just to see like what's going on because if you guys did not know if y'all weren't tuning in because I didn't watch the last auditions, but on TikTok, it was going up. It was people fighting some of the girls from the cast, like Scotty got in a fight. I don't know who else. I think Jayla got in a fight or something like that. Arguments, like it was crazy. So the auditions on its own was just like something to see. So I was going to go down there and bring my little vlogging camera and try to get some content for y'all, but it's too soon. And I already have plans for that day. So unfortunately I will not be going out there to the auditions, but I don't know. Maybe, I, I don't know. I'll see what I can do because I'm pretty sure they're going to have auditions for like Dawson's Cabaret and stuff like that. So who knows? Maybe I can get some content for y'all from, you know, inside the club. <laughs> but all in all, I will be trying to, depending on when Baddies East comes out, I will try to do the review for that as well. Then we have Crazy in Love with Blueface and Krishan. I will not be watching or reviewing that. And we have Jocelyn's Cabaret in New York. And I feel like it's only right that I review this, given that, you know, when I started doing the reality TV stuff, it started off with Jocelyn's Cabaret. And, I mean, it's worth, you know, giving a look-see. So, yeah, um, I will be going in a new direction primarily with my channel, but I'm going to see if I can fit in the reviews because... Some of you guys have let me know that the whole reason you subscribed is because you liked the reviews that I did. It was entertaining and, and stuff like that. But um, yeah, like I said, I'm going to do a video on that and we'll get into that. So that's all for this video, you guys. I hope y'all enjoyed it. We got some more stuff to get into this week. So I will see y'all in the next video. And if you call me a bitch, make sure you put baddest in front of me. Yeah. Back to the ball.